Welcome or welcome back. I'm the Ink Archivist here today with Wearing Gull's Dracula, part of their Colors of Literature series. This is my first Wearing Gull ink, so I was excited to try out a new brand. And when I saw this color in particular, I knew it had to be my first. I'm a big fan of the old classic vampires and red with a blue shimmer in it, as this ink has, has been a, a key interest to me lately. So it comes in a box with a wraparound red label and an, a silver embossed label. And then inside of it, you get this card that has a little sample of the ink and then the Pantone, which is quite convenient. They describe the ink as crimson, reminiscent of blood, and the blue is supposed to evoke a freezing heart. Now, while you can see that brilliant blue shimmer very distinctly on these splatters. It is a lot harder in the writing to detect it, and it seems to come out in more pools of ink, uh, rather than in a lot of the writing, which we'll see later. Apparently it's kind of notoriously hard for Red with Blue Shimmer to show the blue shimmer because of that heavy contrast between the colors. Now this ink acquisition inspired me to get a copy of the book, Dracula by Bram Stoker, which this is based on. I had started reading it a few months ago. I borrowed my boyfriend's copy and I didn't finish it on the vacation we were on. So I decided to get this because it was beautiful and very timely with this ink. I think it would be a romantic idea to read all the books that you get that correspond to a Waringal ink, but probably not realistic with my busy schedule. After giving this ink a good shake, I filled it up in my Pro Gear Slim Sakura Saijiki with a zoom nib. Now as for how it performed in this pen, I think this glitter ink is about one click down in difficulty from a Colorverse ink. That's definitely the most difficult <laughs> glitter ink I've dealt with and this wasn't that bad. So now I'll move on to the swabs of this ink. So we have Tomoe River Paper, HP32, Apica, and Rhodia. This ink has low shading and a higher dry time than normal inks. But I did think it had a pretty good flow for a shimmer ink. I noticed they tend to be a little bit drier. Now on the Tomoe River paper, you can see that dark outlining on the top and in the middle bottom there, but still uh, no sheening and not really a lot of shading. It performed pretty well on the other papers as well, but I will note that there was bleed through and show through on this, but it was pretty minimal. I did like how this ink performed on all four papers, with the exception that Rhodia was the worst, having a little bit of spread on there. So next we'll move on to the notes I took with this ink and the readability. I say this is a seven at minimum. It's a pretty dark ink. I actually thought it would be darker, but uh, definitely readable for most people. And you can peek that there are some places with heavy blue shimmer, but other than that, it's hard to detect. Next we'll get into the writing sample and comparisons. I'm starting with a Hokuro 2.0 nib. This uh, really choked up this pen, so I had a lot of problems with things kind of glooping up and uh, having to go back and remove excess ink off the page. So um, it, it had a nice flow, but shimmer inks just tend to be more difficult in general. Now for the writing samples, I'll start with a Hokuro Fine and then move into the Sailor Side Cheeky with that zoom nib. And I didn't have a problem with the fine nib, but with the zoom nib, I had some significant spread and a little bit of feathering on that. I, am, I will say that Rhodia handled this ink the worst of the four. It seems like these two don't particularly get along. Um, I didn't notice this kind of spread or feathering on the others, at least not to this extent, but um, this combination here, whatever it was with the zoom nib and the ink and the paper, uh, as you can see, it's kind of glooped out. It's hard to even read what I wrote. So moving on to the comparisons, I'll lay down the Dracula first, of course. And after that, I'll be moving on to Diamine Spiced Apple, which isn't red with a blue shimmer. It has a golden chameleon shimmer, but I thought it would still be a good comparison since it does have shimmer in it. And perhaps the blue doesn't appeal to you. 
Now the base color of the spiced apple really pops out how cool toned Dracula is. This is a warm toned red. So more apropos for an apple, whereas Dracula, they're going for a bit of a cooler tone red, which will complement that blue better. So makes sense. So now that the spiced apple is down there, we'll put Noodler's Red Rattler Eel down. This is a standard ink, no shimmer. Spiced apple is darker than Dracula. This is a little bit closer. And then the last comparison I have is Ir Suzuku Momiji, which is a pinky red. Probably the closest of the uh, three to Dracula here. So here is a closer look at these inks. All very lovely. So I'll move on to the finished samples and my final thoughts. I really love Warringal's Dracula. Uh, this is a good introduction to the brand for me, although I'm eager to try one of their standard non-shimmer inks to get a better understanding of their basic properties. Not very ingratiated with the brand, of course. Um, and I'm excited to try other reds with blue shimmer. I have been kind of on a tear acquiring them, so if you want to see more of that, perhaps subscribe. And thank you for joining me, and have a good one. Bye!